hello and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to introduce you to another chatbot based on ai but this chatbot is a bit different if you want a tldr this is an open source gradio based chatbot that combines the best of rag and prompt engineering into an intelligent assistant for modern professionals but there is more to it this is a Python project that pushes the boundaries of chatbot assistants by combining NoSQL database like Cassandra, language models, and prompt engineering. If you ever wanted to deploy a private version of ChatGPT sort of thing that can index and read your ebooks and text data, then this is the app for you. Best of all, it runs locally on your hardware and runs on a wide range of GPUs no third-party subscription or API is needed. But why do we need yet another chatbot? That is the question because already there are thousands of them. The creator of this PyTLDR has tried to explain that. And according to the repo, many professionals are interested in integrating all of these LLMs into their tooling and daily workflows, but are concerned about privacy and cost. Also, LLMs are prone to hallucinations and they are extremely costly to train and fine-tune your own models for your own particular use case. This application, PyTLDR, removes those concerns by allowing users to run inference locally on hardware they own and integrate with Cassandra database to provide a rag, enabling users to augment foundation models such as Llama 2, Llama 3 with domain-specific knowledge without investing in training or fine-tuning. That is the main area of concern. So by con instructing the LLM to respond to the queries based on data, you own the possibilities for education, system automation, and accelerating developments are quite endless. If you look at this architectural flow, it consists of a few things which are quite interesting. For example, first up, if you See here, there is a Cassandra database, so which utilizes Cassandra's distributed architecture to store ebook metadata and page level embeddings, enabling efficient queuing and retrieval. The user prompts the LLM, and these are general um, prompt which is then converted into keywords. Then a Python search is made. Then we have a vector database and a solar database, and then we um, it's the same rag pipeline where the you know the sentence transformer converts it into vectors re-ranker ranks them whenever inference is done it is matched to the user prompt and gets augmented and the results are returned back so there are four components to this by tldr cassandra database a large language model sentence transformer it is for generating embeddings that capture semantic relationship between sentences and of course a prompt engineering it also lets you develop custom prompts to guide the llm's processing of queries ebook content and search results so primarily this chatbot is focused on ebooks so if you have thousands of ebooks maybe in kindle format or any other format and you just want to chat through them you could this tool locally privately offline so just to give you a bit more idea and on how this is working uh, so you can see that it is also using this user queries and drag and for that it is using this solar db so this executes the solar queries against a cassandra database using the search keyword behind the scene and we will be also seeing it after installing it okay so let's see how it works after installing it locally before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description and I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my VM Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. And you don't need that much GPU VRAM for this project, but I would still suggest have some decent GPU. Let me clear the screen 
first up i'm just going to create a conda environment i would keep everything in that conda environment so let's wait for it to get activated that is done let's install some of the prerequisites which include torch transformer sentence piece this will take around a minute or so all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen next up let's git clone the repo of this project and i will drop the link in video's description and now i am in that directory let me clear the screen now one thing you would need already installed on your system is docker make sure that you have recent docker version installed such as i have docker 27 if you don't know how to install docker please search the channel i already have covered it in, in great detail in very easy to follow tutorials so first let's open this in code editor the github repo as the first step which we need to do is to set up our vol local volumes because if you have worked in docker what happens in docker is that you have to set up volumes um, in the docker which will correspond to your local volumes so if you are using cuda which i am using nvidia's gpu card so i have clicked on this cuda file as you can see cuda.yml if you are using rockm you can use that one but i'm just going to go with this cuda file so here we need to set up our volumes and early on you would see that volume is something like this so what i'm going to do i'm just going to replace this username with my username in my local system you can give it any path you like but as i already have um this py tldr dash oss directory so i'm just going to remove this code from here we don't need this we already have cloned it and if you see at the top here on the left we already have this dse and then if you click on dse there is nothing where it is going to create it so that is fine i'm just going to keep it like that or you can even create it beforehand if you like something this so this part is your local directory which should be here and this is what will be provisioned in your docker container and that will be mapped to this volume so let's uh, you and you would have to do it in every section in this yaml file i have updated all the paths to the volume so this is the one in the vector db section where i have made the change if you scroll down there is a search db there is a volume there and I all I have done is I have just put an open to and then the path which is available I remove the code from the path and then I have set up these three volumes in the server section and simply just gave the path which I already have this is a github repo which we cloned and just keep it as like that and then this is a um, the last one is the volume where I want to store the models which will be downloaded and this directory is already there on my system if not you can just point it to any local directory of your choice so that is all you needed to do in this one let's save it and then exit from here i'm just going to close it so we are back here in the github repo now let's cd to this dsc directory in the same repo and there if you do the ls you will see there is a script create folder we need to run it with the sudo and it is going to create the directories which we have mentioned in our volumes you see it has automatically created this directories and there are few subdirectories it created okay so let's go back from here okay now we need to set up our docker first step we need to do is to make sure that permissions are there for docker file that is done let's clear it and next up let's build the docker and so um, i'm just going to go with kudas one because i have the cuda so i'm going to build the docker with kudas to support that one i'm just going to go with um, this pytldr dash cuda dot docker file and then all we need to do is to run it and it is going to build the docker here okay so okay so what is happening here is i believe i didn't give it the proper path let me quickly check so i had missed the dot so if i go up here i missed the dot at the end so which i provided and now it has started installing it 
and this is also missing in their github repo so make sure that you provide the dot at the end let's wait for it to finish this is going to take a fair bit of time in my opinion because it installs the center and lot of stuff all the images are built now took around five minutes or so let me clear the screen now and now let's launch our docker container and they should be up according to your architecture so i have cuda so i'm going to go with docker compose cuda and you can see that it has starting started pulling all the images which we have just downloaded and then it should start shortly the application so let's wait and make sure that you have good space at least i would say 50 gig for model plus all of this stuff on your system it's a big system and this is going to um, start it at port 7860 let's wait and everything eventually got installed here as you can see uh, and the containers are started now go to your browser on the local system and then just access this application on port 7860 and you can see that application is started in the gradio interface first time if you click on this llm it will be empty and in order to get the llm you can go to rag setting and from there you can download this model repo id llama 2 or whatever model you like and then you can also set the rag settings but i would suggest just keep them to as is and then click on download model to get the model downloaded so let's wait so i have downloaded the model so instead of going with this llama 2 13 billion because i don't think so it is available anymore what i did i just simply downloaded this model meta llama 3.1 and the way i did it i just went to hugging face i grabbed its hugging face repo id which i entered here and then the full file name of that model the ggf format so meta llama 3.1 of course and then i clicked on download model so if you go to uh, chatbot hopefully it should have it okay so i think we need to refresh it so i refresh the browser window and now we can see our models here i'm just going to go with this llama 3.1 it shows me error okay what about this okay i think it only works with llama 2 it seems then that is interesting okay let's wait for it to complete its processing and i hope its processing is done let me make it slightly smaller so that it will fit on our screen yep that is better now there is a button two here now you can chat with it so for the local one i just asked it hello there and it has responded hello can i assist how can i assist you so all the things seems to be set here it is installed model is downloaded and set the only drawback i see is that it is fixated to this llama 2 model which is quite old i think for the future um, evolution of this project they should at least allow us to select our own local model that would really be awesome another interesting feature in this tool is this agent settings because you see there is an agent context here in the chat box so if i click on agent settings there you can specify your agent context agent context are short user defined phrases to describe a subject or line of thinking that the chatbot should apply when searching and answering queries so these short phrases could be the name of a topic such as um, european cooking or the name of a product such as ubuntu linux and this phrase gets inserted into the prompt to guide the llm so for example uh, literally as an answer this query in the context of agent context so defining a new context is as simple as completing the sentence with a name or descri uh, description of your desired agent context so for instance i'm just asking it okay so this is a new one and you can say that okay its name is australian slang so i'm just going to say create new context and all this configuration information is getting stored in your local Cassandra database. And for the rag side of things, all you need to do is to just select your files. Just click here on the data source to select any file of your choice. I don't think so I have any file, but I'm just going to go with maybe this PDF file I have, a sample file, and you can include text files and other files here, or your ebook files, and it is going to 
do the vectorization of it and then you can talk with it in this chatbot here um, so it will be in the context of whatever you have loaded you can chat with your file here and it will be if it will be bigger it is going to take bit of a time another observation is that definitely this interface can be improved a lot if you want to send uh, set more rack settings like max tokens temperature and all that stuff you can also do so here depends upon your use case so all in all i would say pretty interesting project um but could be improved a lot in my opinion as there are few other easier options available and i don't think so that for ebooks and that sort of stuff you would need cassandra you can even go with the shorter one but it's a good uh, thing that if you are a no sql person and you want that option py tldr is a one good option open source free everything is running local which is always good option so that's it i will drop the link to the project in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching